morning guys and welcome to Josh's vlogs. It's just after 10 o'clock, we're just outside the Premier Inn if we twist around. Outside the Premier Inn and on Fox Street if I'm right in thinking. So we're just about to get some breakfast and then we'll be hitting the highway now. Where are we going to do? Yarndale. What happens at Yarndale? She doesn't know. done, over and done with, lovely jubbly, in the tummy now, buffet breakfast at Premier Inn. I've uploaded a picture to Instagram, so you can follow me, Joshua Falls on Instagram, nothing exciting, you know what I mean? I can't really think of good usernames, so I just use my name. I thought that would be the best option there, I'm just taking a seat on this bed come sofa thing. So we're going to be heading over to Skipton today because it's Yarn Festival, Yarndale, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, there really isn't much to report. Next time you'll see us is probably going to be in the car on our way to Skipton. So we're going to do that. Probably going to have teen Skipton maybe come back here tonight for a drink in Le Bar. And then go to sleep again. Right, that's us in the car, ready to go to Skipton. Next time you see us, we'll be in Alice Skiptone. Guys and dolls, we're now at the park and ride. Over there is Skipton, well, the Yarndale Festival. And uh, we're quite lucky because there was only two spaces left or we'd have to go into town and use the park and ride. And we're not using the park and ride. It's free parking here, come on. We're, we, we're, we like free parking. Mum, are you excited about Yarndale? Oh yes, very excited. What's your favourite stall going to be? Oh, I don't know because they're all selling yarn. You haven't decided yet? No, not yet. That's us in Yarndale now, we've been given a wristband that says Yarndale so we're officially in. Having a look around Yarndale, it, the place is massive and mobbed completely. We're just, we're just at the toilet, the port loose. We don't get to use the Porsche toilets. We had to use the port loose. So we're going to go back and find Mum. She's in heaven here. It's like if I go to a car show. Did you make one? Yes. Oh. Mum, turn around. My mum created a heart and sent it in. Oh, did she? And it's up there. but very busy. Have you been enjoying it? Yes, thanks. So would you like to explain about the different stalls down here? Yes, well, there's stalls with lots of sock wool, there's clothes, there's Shetland wool, all sorts. <laughs> Stop it. Join Yarndale so far now, how are you finding it? Are you finding it mad with lots to see and do? Yeah, it's really busy. Is it really busy? Really busy. They've just got no alcohol. It's alcohol free. Of course. Of course. Socks here are the ones my mum submitted to Yarndale. He's here. Yeah, them. Chilling outside the Yarn Yarndale right now. We're having a spot of afternoon lunch. Afternoon lunch, afternoon tea. Have Fanta caramel shortbread for you. Don't we? Ching. Better shandy and Jack Clap. 
as it says, today is just going to be a chill day. There's no stress. Over at the other side of the table, we've got a rather tired Natalie. I wouldn't say she's tired. No, Natalie, are you tired? <laughs> How tired? On a scale of 1 to 10? 10. <laughs> How's you? I'm fine. I have a Mars bar and a can of Diet Coke. Now half past three we've had a little bit of a refreshment with our Millionaire Shortbread and Fanta. So we're just going to finish off the, I think, two rows left here at Yarndale and then we're going to go, we're going to revisit the shops Mum wanted to look at. Yarndale. I've bought something, yeah. Look what I bought. I bought a car air freshener for the Focus driving up the road. Now, it's not really me. No yarn is left in this vehicle overnight. It's not really something I have, but you know what I mean? It still shows that I've been to Yarndale. Are you guys enjoying it? Yes, absolutely. I managed to get lots of stuff. Have you the event so far? Yes, absolutely. What has to be your favourite? I, I saw my heart that I made for the Hearts and Minds charity. Okay, okay. Are you going to um, like their Facebook page? Yes, I will. You will. Um, also, what's your favourite stall here? Like a stall, not obviously the heart stall. Oh, oh, I think it has to be the fibre stall. Okay. Spin City. Okay. Is it as busy as you first found it? No, it has quite down slightly, thank goodness. How long is it until it closes? About an hour and a half. Half past five. Half past five? Yes. Okay. We've just hit a slight situation. Natalie was wanting a crepe because she's got a slight migraine, so she's not firing on all fours, but she bought me a car air freshener that I owe her money for, but I don't have any money because I've spent it all on this little girl. So Natalie's not going to get a crepe. But you'll get one tomorrow night in Blackpool. Okay. It's about all I can offer. The Knit and Natter Lounge and I'm going in to hopefully have a word with Lucy and? and maybe Christine and who are Lucy and Christine? Bloggers that I follow Okay, okay, are they easily accessible or do they kind of hide within the internet? They kind of hide within the internet Okay, okay, so what, what kind of questions are you going to ask them? I don't know really yet, have it decided Okay, okay, so let's go in and see Okay then Well, that's Yarndale 2017 done and dusted. Technically now we can go home. We can just go home. That's it finished. We've completed it. That's it. Natalie got her crepe after all. So she's happy. It just means we don't have to buy tea for her. So it's... We're now parked up in the city centre of Skipton. Right now waiting for Natalie to get out. Cost 
Fiesta in Skipton, relaxing, having a coffee. Well, I'm not having a coffee, but mum and dad are having a coffee, as you can see here. Costa, it's Americano. Um, so yeah, we're just deciding on where we're going to go for tea. After this, we're going to head down to canals and skip them, see all the canal boats, maybe feed ducks, so that'd be interesting. Um, Sonia has been to another wool shop. Yes, we've just came from a wool convention, and um, came from a wool convention, and came from a wool convention, and she went in a wool shop just opposite Costa. How did you find, how did you find the wool shop? Amazing. What's it called? Woody, the Woodies. The Woodies, they have it on their website? They do indeed. So will you be checking it out? I will yeah. be this evening. Lovely, what are you drinking? Mocha. Okay. So, what are you fancy for dinner? Oh, I don't know yet. Haven't decided. Spotted this rather strange shop in the centre of Skipton. Well, not the centre, just kind of down just a wee bit. It's obviously a trinkety shop that kind of sells everything. Obviously they're getting kitted up for Halloween. Beside the harbour now, down beside the kind of canal area. These are all your kind of trip boats. Now, when we were last here, this is Rosie and Jim. We got to go in Rosie, which was quite nice. Um, it's really nice here, it's just nice and quaint. You've got all the boats, you've got a nice little bit, you've got an ice cream tug over there, which is kind of cool. Moving round, got canal boats, that's the way out, obviously. And then you've got the other quayside canal. So, yeah, being down beside Skipton, it is nice. Taking a look from the bridge, look at that. This is like a glorified Asheville, busy Lizzie's, rated best chipper in Skipton. Having a nice wander along the um, canals. the canals in Skipton. Look at all the different kind of boats and everything. We've now magically appeared on the Yarn Bombed Park, and the reason it's called a Yarn Bombed Park is because Yarndale crew or the Yarndale staff have came here and done every lamppost with yarn, so you can follow the way to the park to Yarndale, which is over that way. And there we go, what a good idea! Earlier on, Busy Lizzie's is the number one rated fish and chip shop in Skipton. So we've decided to come here for tea. I'm going to guess it'll be a little bit like the Ashvale, so we'll report how we get on. How's it hanging, man? And oh, what a fine chipper that was. That certainly filled a hole or two. Good chips, good fish, good good ambience. We even gave them a few ideas. Dad, this is the street we walked up, by the way. Okay. Um, I've given them a few suggestions as well by a Scottish battered Mars bar or a haggis something. Today has certainly been an adventurous day, shall we say. We've been adventuring Yarndale, haven't we, Nat? We have, we've been taking in the sights and sounds of Yarndale, uh -huh. we then went out for tea, we then went for a look around the canals, mm -hmm. it's... Shut up! 
we've had a very nice day. So we're gonna drive back to Preston now, and then Natalie's gonna take all her makeup off. Yeah. And then we're gonna go down to the bar, I'm gonna get the vlog rendered, and I may just have an alcoholic drink. And for those of these, for you guys that know me, you know I don't drink. So, because I won't have to drive tonight, and because we'll just be in the hotel, I shouldn't see why I record a leg ain't gonna be bad. I'm gonna get id for it, but meh. Well, we timed it really right, because we don't need to do f parking tonight, eight pounds. We can just park here, just under the Premier Inn. So look at that, killing two birds with one stone. Cars parked there, the Premier Inn's literally above us, and through that bit there, it's easy. Yes! We've just been up at Sainsbury's on the high street, getting some round trees randoms, because we're just about to chill in the bar. I'm going to see if they've got um, some alcoholic beverages. Saturday night, we're not doing any driving. So Nat, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Would you like to say hello to anyone? No, just hi to probably, everyone. Probably the big J. He probably needs hello. Jazz. Jazz. Grabbed a recorder leg mixed fruit. Why not? Why not? It's the only time I'm going to get a drink until New Year. Bottoms up. After midnight now, and I've thought of a really cool thing. Well, I say thought of. I've came up with a really cool thing. If I plug my phone into my laptop and I sync the images that way, it's a lot easier. Because at the moment, since I've got an iPhone, they upload to the cloud and then I have to download them. So, I'm currently working my way through six, 16 minutes of footage from yesterday, and I think we're at 13 minutes. So, we're not doing too bad. So, we're going to go outside for a breather, then we're going to pay for breakfast, and then I think it'll be finish the vlog and then head home. Well, head home, head to bed, and then Russ has just joined me.